Several bodies have now been recovered from the area where AirAsia Flight 8501 crashed into the Java Sea on Sunday with 162 people on board. A woman named Hayati Lutfi Ahmed became the first passenger identified by fingerprints and other means, according to East Java's Disaster Victim Identification Unit. Her body was handed over to family members on Thursday during a brief ceremony at a hospital in Surabaya, Indonesia, where the plane had taken off. Officials are hopeful that a break in the stormy weather will help expedite the search for more bodies, as well as the plane's fuselage and flight data recorders. More than 50 ships with high-tech detection equipment and aircraft with metal detectors are scouring the area. Meantime, a few thousand miles to the south, a couple of ships are quietly combing a patch of ocean for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 that vanished without a trace nearly 10 months ago. In Beijing, family members of that ill-fated flight expressed both empathy and envy. Knowing the bad news is painful, but it is even more painful for us to live under such uncertainties and wait to know the actual result. When we heard the sad news of AirAsia Flight 8501, we had a lot of sympathy for these relatives, but we also felt it is so unacceptable that MH370 is still missing, while they found the wreckage of AirAsia Flight 8501 so quickly. While it's not yet clear what happened to either plane, the latest disaster has focused attention once again on the hunt for Flight 370 and the agonizing wait for answers. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.